You are God from the beginning to the end. There is no argument. Say it again. You are God. You are God from the beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Is there any argument in your heart? When you begin to tell him, Lord, you are God, is there another voice that tells you? Don't say that. Don't do that. Don't believe like that. The question was answered. There's no more questions about whether God is God. We don't worship anybody else. We don't go back and forth anymore. Elijah asked his questions and said, well, how much longer are you going to go back and forth? If God is God, then worship him. There is no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Can you take it further? Uh-huh. What happens after that? You seasons in your You come for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. God, you are so sent to call me your own. Woo! Hallelujah! You go time that seasons in He is God alone. He is a God by himself. He does not need a man to replace him, to help him, to support him, to endorse him. Even without your endorsement, he is God. Whether you are alive or dead, he stays God. Whether you are on the highest or the lowest, he is God. Whether you are happy or not happy, he is God. He has no fading. He does not diminish because seasons have changed or times are different. He is God all by himself. So lift your hands and say, Lord, I worship you. 
Because you are my God. I worship you. Because I know you are God. You are worthy to be praised. And I worship you. With my heart. And my soul. And my life. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.